FYZ4K here, welcome back. I hope you guys are keeping safe. We're gonna be talking about green screen editing and technology today as uh, you guys might have figured out from the title of the video. So for those of you that know how to edit using green screen technology, then this will just be something entertaining for you. If you guys don't know how to edit with green screen technology, then this will be something quite useful, I'm sure. We're gonna be working in Final Cut Pro behind me and I'm going to be including some stock video footage. I'm going to be having the links below the video where you guys can download some awesome stock footage and work with it while you guys are home and play around with certain things. So let's get started and let's get into Final Cut Pro. Okay, so here we go. We got our clips in the tray. I got a green screen clip and I got a a clip that I would like to put in the background. So I'm going to drag and drop this clip into the timeline. And out of practice, what I usually do and out of uh, just habit is I mute all the clips that I absolutely don't want any sound in. So I got the clip right over here. I'm going to play it really quickly for you. It is of lovely coins falling from up above. All right, so we got this. And we got this beautiful sky that I'd like to bring in. So first thing first, we want to get rid of the green. So by doing that, what we do is we go into our show or hide effects browser right over here. And we want to click into the keying. I already have keying selected. And inside the keying, we'll find the keyer. Uh, if you highlight or just have your mouse on top of the keyer, you'll notice that the green screen is already gone. So that's the good thing. So we want to drag and drop this over our clip and we'll notice now the green gone. All right. Now, just a little heads up. If you are going to be recording yourself or any products against the green screen, you want to make sure that the product is not green and you are not wearing any green because if you're wearing any green, you will disappear and we'll just see your lovely face and you will look like a ghost. So this works out perfectly over here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring in the clouds and the clouds are going to go below that layer and boom, just like that. Simple as that. Now you'll notice that the coins aren't reaching the top and bottom of the screen. They are reaching the right side and they are reaching the left side here. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the coin layer over here, the green screen, and I'm going to click into here and click crop. We're going to click crop again right over here because it's on trim and we're going to click OK and hit done. Now it fits in all edges just like that. OK, so that is another way of making or one of the ways of making your image fit into the frame. Now, if we hit the play button, you will notice that the coins are falling really nicely and the clouds are moving beautifully in the background. That works out beautifully. I have no issues with that. However, sometimes when you bring in something that you've recorded with a green screen behind you, you may have shadows in it depending on the way you set up your light. I would not delete those video clips. They're not trash. What you would do is you would, with Keir selected, you would then click into the show the video inspector and you would click the sample color right over here. Once you cl click sample color, you would select an area of the green screen where there is the shadow and you would highlight that and it will disappear. So this is a way to fix up shadows. You can also fill in holes. You can fix the edge distance. You can adjust the strength and all the other good stuff. So there's a lot of adjustments that you can make within the green screen setting to fix up your green screen layer. I would definitely suggest that you guys take a look at that and play around with that. And yeah, I'm sure you guys are going to have a lot of fun. So yeah. Finally, if you wanted to add in some music, we can import some music into here to give it a final touch. Ah, 
that looked wonderful. So yeah, you guys can play around, have a lot of fun. Uh, in this case, I used a, some moving clouds effect, but you can have just still pictures. And that's pretty much that. I hope you found that quite useful. There's so many things that you guys can play around with. I mean, for work or just for leisure and fun. And that's that. So guys, stay safe. And until next time, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.